I have my cards for the stream. The horror deck, you know, the spoopy deck is allowed, so feel free to play as you will. This game's supposed to be really scary. Actually, I gotta turn off my light here. This game's gonna be extremely scary, so... I'm excited to play it. I played the first level, finish it completely. It was pretty scary, I'll give it that, but I know it gets worse. The first ghost is like a tutorial ghost, and it's a very, like, passive ghost for the most part, but the ghost gets worse. They become, like, there's demons, there's poltergeists, there's a whole bunch of, like, other things. Also, hey, Matt. So I'm really excited to play this and see how it is. As for the chat, I forgot to change it, I think, for the size on this one, but I don't think it's going to be... It's not going to matter because most of the... The screen is going to be dark, so you'll be able to read the chat easier anyway, so it's not going to matter this stream. I'll have to remember to change it next time, though. Is this a short game? No. They have, like, 20-plus different scripted events, basically. So, what does a Roy scream sound like? I don't know. Uh, careful with my mouse, by the way. It's very touchy, as you can see, until I control it better. But, yeah, it's... Actually, I might have to... Let's see if I can change the... Yeah. Look at the 808 Keone being funny, giving 69 bits. Mario Maker 2 got a new ghost house theme. Pretty good, I guess. I'll roll with that for a bit. And Keone thinks it's 69 bits. Mario House. <laughs> Mario has got a new ghost house? Yeah, I guess so. Anyways, I think you go over here. And then you select a mission. So this is the first mission right here, which I did the skipping child. There should be a randomized ghost. Sometimes you'll get the same one, but there should be a randomized ghost. And that's what I'm hoping for. At least that's the plan. I might have to change something real quick, though, before we start. Uh, Capture cursor. Let's turn that off. There, perfect. This appears about as Oops. quickly as it appears. It seems like the entire family has noticed this at one time or another. They stated seeing this figure throughout their house, primarily as the family is watching television. It'll enter their peripheral vision from another room. Initially, they didn't believe what they were seeing, but soon became convinced when everyone was witnessing the same thing. At first, this was very startling for them. But now they are more curious, if anything. They want to understand what they are seeing. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Okay, a couple of things before we start. Let me hit the menu button here real quick. Go to this. Let me tab out real quick if I can. And let me increase the sound of it because it's really quiet. Oh, that's the max it's going to be. That's unfortunate. Okay, so what we're going to do is increase the sound on my audio desktop audio. It'll be a bit louder for everyone, but I think everyone will appreciate that. All right, now it's louder. If it's not loud enough, I will definitely turn it up even more, so, yeah. I doubled the volume of it, so it should be good now once I unpause here. But the family has seen a figure on the main floor of the house, so the first floor. Yeah, if it's not loud enough, let me change it again, because, you know. The game's at max volume, by the way, which is really scary. Yeah, that did seem kind of quiet. Hold on. Give me a second. Let me fix that. All right. Just so everyone is aware... We have a 150% increase in volume total. Those spoopy cards are going to be extremely loud for everyone, comparably, to the last time you've heard it. So be careful. Anyways, so this is kind of a ghost game where you have to be, like, in the dark, as shown. There's no sanity meter. You don't have to worry about that, at least. So that's good. But you also have tools you have to work with. You have your photo camera slash recorder. You have your mic recorder, you have your EMF, and you have your temperature, basically. So, yeah. What you have to do is, like, investigate the house, looking for temperature readings, EMF readings, etc., etc. As you find more evidence, the ghost becomes more active and becomes... Not really hostile, but I've noticed a lot more ghost events start to happen when you have investigated enough, so... And I did turn off jump scare sounds because it just seems like it's not immersive. What that basically means is, like, for example, what if, um, I don't know, one of these, like, things fall off the table or something, like one of the pictures, right? If it falls off in front of you, it would play a really stupid 
generic jump scare sound, but now you can turn that off. It'll still fall in front of you. It'll still be scary, but it won't be as, like, you know, cliche, which is great. So, anyways, we're looking for the ghost on the first... I never opened this up. Oh, tempers are kind of going down. Wait. Okay, so the ghost is in here? Wait. Okay, so the ghost opened up all these doors. Because, look, the temperature's going down. I'm going to switch over to Celsius because it's easier to read. Okay, so the ghost was, like, right here. Here we go, here we go. Oh, fuck you. I actually thought that was an actual footstep in the game. It's going to record the sound. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, gosh. Okay, I'm gonna look for some EMF, I guess, then. And this game plays on realism, so, like, if I were to... I think that was the ghost. If I go to the TV, look, it goes to EMF 5. So it's, it's very realistic. You gotta be careful where you go and what you're touching. Oh, and they do have... Oh, that was EMF. Hold on. Is that a... Maybe that's from the socket. Hold on. Wait. Okay, yes, yeah, from the socket. Gotcha. This has night vision as well. That's pretty cool. You just watch it in the bottom right corner. This ghost can shell shop. Yeah, okay. That's probably from the refrigerator, right? Yeah. This game's gonna get more intense the more missions you play. But right now it's kind of like very lenient, you know. This is open too. Um, wait, EMA three. From what? Socket? Oh, okay. Oh, that's just me again. <laughs> I'm scaring myself now because I'm looking for EMF. Okay, let's just go back to temperatures, because that is probably for the best. You need to find out exactly where it's at. Otherwise, we can't get any information. I think it was back over here. Oh, did it move again? The ghost in this game walks around normally, as far as I can tell. When I was playing it, I was testing it out. So it doesn't teleport like in Phasmophobia. It... Okay, so the ghost was here earlier. The reason... Or maybe not. Maybe the ghost was actually right there, but it usually gets to 16 Celsius when it's actually right there. The really claims are a myth. Yeah, okay. We're making a lot of Mario jokes today. That's fine. It's a very quiet game until you start finding evidence. For example... Kind of bright, sorry about that. Temperature data. I found some irregular cold spots, which makes me believe I should focus on this a bit more. You need to find, like, three evidence of the same kind to progress. And you can do it at any pace. There's literally no... Why does the temperature... Why does the thermometer turn black there? Okay. Sure. Okay, I'm not getting any temperature. It says it's on the main floor, but I'm going to go upstairs anyways, because I think that's for the best. Because the ghost can still go upstairs. It's just really rare. It could be up here. Is that an Xbox 360? Oh, no, that's an Xbox One, isn't it? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, it's not upstairs. I didn't think it would be, but I had to at least check. Oh, it could be down in the basement now. I haven't seen it in a while with the temperature. Oh, the basement is not fun. I got pretty creeped out the first time I went down there. Oh, is it in here? Temperature went down. Could be a natural thing though in the game. <sighs> I really don't want to go down there yet. If I have to, I'll go down there. I don't like basements. They've always creeped me out. I told you it's loud, Ryston. I, I, I had to increase the 
the decibels for the desktop. I did warn people about that. I could make a separate set for that kind of thing, but I think it's a waste of time, really. And by the way, that's still not as loud as it normally is for me. It is still 60% more loud than what you just heard for me. That is why I stopped in place, because it was actually really loud. Uh, where is this? Okay, you know what? We gotta give up on this. We gotta go... F There's no sounds yet. We gotta go for EMF, because I feel like if it's not gonna put too many temperature readings, it's probably EMF. If I can find where it's at, I can ask it a question, which is what I want to do next. But I don't know if it's going to show itself early. That's... wait. Okay, I just want to confirm that was actually... oh! There's no Saki here, is there? Ah, son of a gun, it got me. The Saki here as well. I wish it would actually play a sound when it got to EMF5 or something, though, so I know what I'm looking for. EMF3 in here, but I think... That's always going to be guaranteed, because of the socket right there. Okay. Oh, I don't want to go outside. Not yet. Hey, that's outside light. I don't want that. This one. Oh. Yeah, I just want to make sure that was me, because the ghost can move around. Yeah, that was actually... Okay, when you hear that writing sound, that means I got something. Right here, EMF data. You have detected unusual activity with the EMF readers. So I know for a fact that was not the TV that time. It was EMF5. Am I going to ask how thick it is? Actually, you can't even do that. This is all you can do. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? And then you wait. Is there anyone here? like to speak with me please you timed that so wrong you gotta you gotta time that better Ryston. damn it you should have waited just a little bit longer and you would have had it well you got it anyways i guess oh god oh wait wait that's not normal It's walking this way? Walking this way? Okay, I'm convinced. That's good. Can you tell me your name? Let's see if he'll answer this time. Thanks. Can you tell me your name? Okay, well, here's what I'm going to do. Do this again. I just my computer crash right when that happened. Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude! I did not expect that at all. What the fuck? I'm just casually walking through and that thing just appears out of nowhere. Oh, I, I wanted to get some information on with night vision and then all of a sudden, here we go. Right at the gate. And I didn't, I don't think I got a picture of that either. Let me see. Oh, I do have a photo. What, that counted? Shadow person. Interesting. Rare piece of evidence. Okay. Oh, no, Jesus. Okay, that's a jump scare. That's for sure. Alright, where is it at? Shadow persons don't speak in the EVP anyway, so it doesn't matter anymore. And yes, ghosts can turn on and off lights. That much I know. So if you see a light on or light off, you know it was the ghost and not me. 
Where the hell? He made any sounds other than a jump scare. Hold on. The 808 uh, Kioni cheered with 100 bits. It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it just shell jumps again. <laughs> the Kioni thinks it's not a biz. This game just knows how to scare you. And that's good. But it knows. What is it? I need to know where the ghost is at. Oh, by the way, you can get evidence in the light. It's possible if you're a baby. But it, it has, like, a lower effect on it. Like, it's harder to get EMF and stuff inside the light. It's just much harder to get a response from the EVP. Right here. Where'd you go? Where did you go? Is that enough? I heard writing. Um, this must be paranormal. Okay, everything I have right now is top tier except for audio data. I need audio only now. And you get a gold trophy for finishing the mission. And now it's super active because I only need one more evidence. There we go, perfect. Didn't count? Yeah, I know that was one of you guys. <laughs> I haven't heard a microphone. A microphone. I haven't heard a microwave beep in this game yet. So, I mean, one of these times there probably will be one. But come on, come on, guys! Now you're just gonna abuse it, <laughs> and I'll never know what is audio, what isn't. I'm going. I'm going to the basement. I have. Against my better judgment. I know it's on the main floor, but bad things happen when you go in basements. I already hate it in here. This is a breaker. Alright, as long as it doesn't do a jump scare here, I will be fine. For a little while anyways. Oh, hey, turn on the light up there. It doesn't like me down here. Okay, I'll come back up. I'm sorry. Sorry. Come back up. The fuck was that? I heard, like, an animal outside in the game. Oh, it shut this door. See. All right, I'm gonna do this for a second here. I'm gonna take my evidence. No audio data. Damn it. Yeah, I heard that. Thanks. I counted. Nice. That enough? I need at least one more. All right, time to scare me. I'm hearing freaking noises, dude. It's like outside, though. Okay, that's probably what I heard earlier was a crow. Come on. Give me something. Or hearing things just it won't respond on the EVP if I do this because in the game manual it talks about 
Only intelligence, ghosts, and demon ghosts can speak to you. This is a shadow, so it's not going to speak to you through EVP asking the question. Do you do anything about the ghost, or do you just go to the home? We're investigators. We do the pre-work uh, stuff. But as far as I know, you can't die in this game. But I don't know if that's true or not, because I have not gotten past the first level. I've only seen a very little bit about the information about this game. Basically, we're here to let you know if the ghost is hostile or not. That's the whole entire point of this, basically. Getting evidence, basically. Can the ghost go outside? I think there is a ghost that is outside, but I'm not sure yet. From what I read. Every single ghost is scripted. It does different actions, different things. And it might have a different model every single time. Uh, turn it off your flashlight it doesn't affect anything. I read in uh, the discussion stuff. Flashlight doesn't do anything. It's just for yourself. However, this... Having this on, does it makes it do less things. Or turns it off in front of you and makes a joke out of you. Talking to it seemed to help. Mm, as far as I know, I didn't do anything to it. Because, again, it's a shadow ghost. Which, a shadow in this presence is not an intelligent being... It's only a shadow of its former self, therefore it doesn't re react to anything. Just like a residual ghost. Here, let me show you. There's the resi resi yeah. residual ghost, I think is the shadow ghost. There's a poltergeist, demonic, and intelligent. Poltergeist and residual don't talk to you. Intelligent and demonic do. That's what I know. I just need one more evidence. I'm pretty sure. Let me double check. Yeah, I just need one more. Maybe two. You got ghosts that might be a demon? Okay, bye. Not my problem. Anymore. Exactly. Exactly. The reason why I don't want to pull my EMF, I might miss an audio thing, but... Okay, it's here. Oh, wait. God dang it, I got debated. Where is it? Oh. Did they go down in the basement? Oh no, did it go down in the basement because I went down there? It hasn't do done anything since I haven't done... No. Oh, it's in the basement, all right. Oh, it's in the basement, all right. I didn't turn this on. It followed me down here. The count? Oh, thank God. Am I out of here now? <laughs> Let's see. I think you need three, but I'm not sure. I'll get one more just to be sure. Oh, this light's on too now. Oh, oh all right. Oh, you turn that on, really? Stop. Yeah, I hear that. I hear you. Unclear. That should be it, right? Three? Okay, we're done. Get, get me the fuck out of here, <laughs> please. You know what? I'm just leaving the door open. See ya.
And this is how you leave. Man, it followed me in the basement too. Is there enough temperature evidence? Okay. I only need one photo, right? Yeah. Oh, you need four? Only silver, huh? Well, in the interest of content, I'm going to continue on. I can always get the gold on my own if I want to. But that sucks that I only got a silver. I needed four for that mission. The previous mission was only three, from what I could tell. All right, well, I guess we just go back to the map and do another mission here. Pretty fun game so far. Didn't even close our front door. Exactly, you know? Why even bother? All right, same house, different ghosts. Come on. Hey, Doc, it's pretty good. The other day, this client contacted me because they think their house might be haunted. The wife stated she had heard odd noises like footsteps throughout the house. The husband, on the other hand, has seen a full body apparition. One night, he was sitting watching TV in the living room while the family was asleep. A man of average build appeared. At first, he thought someone broke into the house because the entity seemed so real. It turned and looked at him, too. About as quickly as he caught eye contact with them, it vanished. The family has heard footsteps throughout the main floor. Actually, Initially, they floor? chalked it up to the house settling, but after seeing the ghost, they're certain it's not the house settling anymore. The family wants to understand what is haunting their home. It's gotta be different. I'm sure I'll be able to find dialogue. enough evidence to support their claims. It's gotta be different. Minds at ease. Anyway, see you later, Matt. Have a good one. This has gotta be a different ghost because it had different dialogue for the first two parts of it. All right, similar thing. Close the door, close the light, and we start investigating. Same house, though, so you're not going to get much difference other than the events are going to be different. That's about it. But now you get the idea. This door's already open, okay. What if it's random or always... Hold on, scripted, maybe. Let's see. Or, what the... What is that on the screen? Is that a glitch? Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> Stop. We're gonna do this right now. How many people are sure. here other than me? How many people are here other than me? Okay, left then. If it's not going to speak. You gotta wait to use that for like a basement or something. Come on. <laughs> That's just a waste. Otherwise, I feel like. Find where the ghost is at. Maybe I can ask it another question. You hold it in there too. That's not where the ghost. Right here? Here we go. 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 You can go in the basement, did you? Stay right here. 
Right here, then. Is this your home? Is this a... Oh, hold on. Is this your home? Okay. Is this a horror game or app uh, most spheric puzzle game? Um, I mean, it's just a horror game. There's no real puzzle. Uh, the puzzle is just getting the evidence, really. again actually we can look at our evidence and see if we need any more uh absolutely detected paranormal activity okay that's done then i just gotta do cold plots and audio and picture gotta find it again it's gonna be difficult at first Go. Go, go. Maybe it's in. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, wait, it was right there. It's in here. I know the basements are cold, but. Actually, no, it is the basement. That's weird. Never had that in my first place. Oh, I get it. So, is this a heater then? It could be a heating system that turns on randomly when the house gets too cold. I could see that. Up, oh, it's right here. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? I thought I could get something out of it. What are these sparkles? You see them? Is that the ghost? Nah, it can't be. I saw it moving though. Wait. I never closed this. Being a pain in the butt. I think it was right there. Here it is. Go. It likes this place right here. When I noticed, it's like right here. Here it is. Yo, you be me. Yeah. How many evidences do we have? Okay, so temperature's already done. That's why it's not doing anything. So we need audio. And picture. That's gonna be the hard part with this guy. I think it is. Yeah, maybe maybe it is ghost orbs. I'm not sure. Trying to use the bathroom. Just gonna... yeah, okay. Clearly. I'm gonna show up now. I feel like two evidences is already gonna show it.
Hmm. Wait. Right here. Do you know why I'm here? The mirrors really throw you off. I, I agree. Do you know why I'm here? Okay. Try again. That does look like the ghost. Is that, that's got to be the ghost. How many people are here other than me? How many people are here other than me? Okay. Yeah, that has to be the ghost. I agree now. Only time I've ever seen it is when the ghost is around. Oh. There it is. Do you like the current family living here? I mean, yeah. Do you like the current family living here? The thing is, Ryzen, in real ghost hunting, this is VR. Yeah, I wish it was too substantive, but I don't think it is right now. It may in the future it might have VR. The thing is, Ryzen, is that with ghost hunting, there are rules to make sure you don't aggravate the ghost. Uh, number one rule: never taunt it, never provoke it. Do that, you can actually get hurt and possibly die. Ghosts can actually do damage to you. They can throw shit at you. They can push you around. That's real shit. Don't ever piss them off. Number two, the second rule is to, to define them as people, I believe. The reason why you want to uh, make them feel like they're people is because, one, they might not know they're a ghost. Number two, if they if you, if you they find out you're, they're a ghost because of you... They might actually get aggravated and upset and angry, etc., and will become a menace. You have to let them, you have to treat them like people, even though they're dead. It is the biggest two rules you ever do in ghost hunting. I know this because I used to watch a lot of ghost hunting shows. Real shows, not the fake shit. Are you right here? Oh, actually, wait. Why are you here? No, you never do that either, Fox. Otherwise, I could make them mad. Why are you here? Damn it. I feel like this is an intelligent ghost. Hey, how are you? I see you. Hello. Can you just take a picture of that? That has to be the ghost. I refuse to believe it's not. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Here. Why are you here? Oh, it just left. Why are you here? Do you know why I'm here? I see it again, it's right here. Do you know why I'm here? Is there anything you'd like Still to tell right me? Still right here. See it. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Oh. Oh God, it's moving. I'm not going to talk about the shows because some people...
anyways. I'm not going to talk about the shows because, uh, you know, everyone has an opinion and all that, but I believe that they're real just because of how much effort and time they put into their work. But they have a lot of haters too, just how it goes. I don't want, I don't want any more criticism for them or beliefs in general, you know. But you'll know when a ghost hunting show is real, when they put a lot of extra effort into what they do instead of just being an entertainment show. As a response on EVP though, so I'm pretty happy about that, but damn, it's uh, it's a pretty hurtful ghost. All right, is that enough audio, uh, audio requirements? I think that might be enough audio data, but I'm not sure. I see it right here. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Okay. It's gonna show up soon, I feel like. I got enough evidence for that. Yeah, this goes got creepy. Yeah, it gets it gets worse over time, Ryzen. As you get into the later uh, levels, I re I remember reading, hearing about, they just get way more active. Also, it's on the screen right now. I just saw it. In the little specks and dust. We haven't seen it yet, but it's supposed to show itself. It's shown itself to the family here before, so it should be like a a, a grown man. I believe. Will show itself, maybe? Something like that, anyways. But anyways, back on the Ghost Hunter story slash show talk. The reason why I think they're actually real is because when another Ghost Hunter who does it for entertainment to piss off ghosts, they told them to stop. And, you know, considering that they actually care about the ghosts makes me believe them a little bit more. But they also put a lot of effort into what they're searching for. And they spend hours, if not days, on a very particular... Okay. Hi. See you right there. So, am I going to have to go in the basement again to get information out of you? Do I have to? Oh, okay. All right. Let's go. Come on. Okay. Maybe you don't want me to go down here. Is that what you want? You don't want me to come down here? Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. I'm up here now. Go. I feel like it's gonna do something here. Second. I mean, it hasn't even shown itself yet, and the other ghost shown itself twice, so. That makes me a little worried. It hasn't shown itself yet. Did I actually put it into the basement? Okay, I'm going to the basement. Jeez. There's the light. Okay. Follow me in here. I heard it like crying over. You. Okay, close this door. That enough evidence to be done with audio? Plenty. Plenty, okay. Now we just have one last thing to do. That is the search for physical evidence. I 
You go down the basement, you think? I hope not. Let's just stay on the main floor here. Getting very active. Guess we're just gonna wait here by the TV because it said it popped up by the TV next to the sofa one day, so I'll wait right here. Hard to say if it's an inviting whale. Yeah, I don't know either. Hard to say. It's gonna show up, it's gonna show up near the TV because that's what it said. And these hints are pretty good. Yeah, okay. Just in case. Alright. Now we wait. More puzzled than horror. These are the introductory stages. It gets worse when you get to the other houses. And I'm glad they do it this way because it's like a tutorial system. For like the different kind of ghosts you can get. I think there's a demon in, on the same house. No! You show yourself? That'd be awesome. I mean, I'm not forcing you or anything, but it'd be awesome if you could show yourself. It likes to hang around right here. One of these times I'm going to turn to the right and there's going to be a, a freaking ghost man standing right there and I'm going to be freaked out. Heard that. Okay, you're in here. What the hell? Not? Where's the light switch for this place? Alright, we're just gonna wait here, I guess, then. You like that door, don't you? Just need one evidence. Just say no, this is true. But I don't think it's responding to what I'm actually talking about. It could... Just gotta wait. I need this evidence. Otherwise, it's not conclusive enough, apparently, to the game, so. I could leave early, but it'd be like a, sil a silver trophy. Do I really have to go in the basement? It's gonna follow me down there, maybe? Oh, that's gonna suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You know, that was me. My light. Almost kind of looks like a dead body down there. <laughs> That's what it looked like to me. Did it follow me in here? It did. It did follow me. Did it tell me to go? If a ghost actually in real life tells you to go, you should leave the house. Or leave whatever place you're in. If a ghost actually tells you that, you have to leave. You have to respect them. But since this is a game, and we know the parameters, it won't matter. Unless it can kill you in-game, then I would respect that. But Okay. <sighs> yeah, there's a lot of activity whenever I cross the basement door. It seems like every single time it seems like that. I agree. Last time the ghost followed me in the basement, though. I wonder if we'll do the same here.
So, normally Ghost Hunters actually have equipped tripods and stuff for the recording software. I kind of hope that this game gets the same treatment. I hope that you can actually access your van. Oh, it turned on the heater. I hope you can actually access your uh, your van. That means it came down here, I think. And, like, look through all the cameras and just watch it appear. That'd be really cool. Just to do a real Ghost Hunter experience. I want to see a tripod. Uh, yeah, tripod. Um, what? I like it, man. One photo evidence. Oh, I'll quick, close that door. I would like to see a REM pod. Uh, tripod with cameras. I would like to see... Uh, what do they call those things? The wires. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, dowsing rods. I want to see dowsing rods in this game. I would like to see... What else would be really good for this kind of stuff? Well... They got the EVP, which is- OH GOD, WHAT THE FUCK?! Please, I'm talking about improving the game, you don't have to disturb me like that, Jesus. Okay, I'm out, bye. <laughs> and I'm just trying to say, hey, this is what you should put in the game, and it's like, nope. It just shows up right in front of you, just like that. When I'm looking for it, it never shows up. When I'm not looking for it, it just says, nah. Here you go, have a, have a freaking picture. Yeah, Kylie reply which story you would like me to use, yeah. Oh, uh, okay, gold, a gold trophy, nice. Alright. We're gonna go to a better map. Perhaps, or rather a different map. I think. We've already seen three, well, technically three, but in reality only two. Can I go to the next area now? I've been invited, okay. Maybe I've not done enough work or something like that. Try that again. Maybe I can go to like one of these highlighter, highlight, wow, highlight house. Can I go here? Nope. Okay. Can I go anywhere else? Like, maybe if I use my WASD, it might let me select something or arrow keys. Oh. Maybe I need to go to the laptop or desktop or what that's a pamphlet it just tells you how to play the game how you exit the game okay is there a way for me to know which places are unlocked for me or is that just how early access is jesus it's so dark i guess i just have to guess maybe maybe you have to get all the houses done i'm not sure how the i don't know how it works Maybe you have to do all of them. I'm gonna check each one just to make sure, because I'm not sure. It's very possible that you have to do all of them. There's a lot of levels in this game. I don't know how many are actually real, though. I right, check that, check that, check that. Okay. Oh, it's space bar, I see. That makes it so much easier than what I was doing. Okay, it looks like you just gotta keep doing the same one until you get all the ghosts. Oh, you can just select a ghost, I see. Oh, I didn't mean to. I didn't know double clicking would do that. That's my the bad. The other day, this client contacted me because they think their house might be haunted. The wife stated she had heard odd noises like- At least it's very responsive uh, for early access. I do appreciate that. Try... I am on observation duty. Yeah, so I've already watched a lot of videos on that game. Oh, I have to actually. 
The wife stated she had heard odd noises like footsteps. Okay, so house. I just have to wait for this app and then I go the to the fan real quick. Uh, I've seen a lot of observation night, duty. Thing is, it's about memorizing the locations the from before. I'll consider it in the future. I'm not normally a horror uh, first, player. I mostly play Mario Maker 2. But if people like the horror content, I might I might expand on that in the future. When I played a lot of Phasmophobia, only a couple times on stream, I played a lot of uh, Ghost Hunters Corporation. I played a lot of... But after seeing the ghost... There City, I played a lot of the family wants or warrant. I played a lot of ghost games that are multiplayer. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough. Anyways, I got to get out of here. Their claims and put their minds at ease. Where is it? There it is. Let's just get out of here. I don't really want to. Perhaps I should game. try. Uh, new game might just let I me put up. it might just put me back into where I need to be, but I'm not sure because new game and continue are just like such a different thing. Closing summary, that's fine. Because I already know the tricks. Yeah, you're right. I guess if I did it completely blind, it would be different. I watch a lot of uh, Insim and other ghost hunting kind of YouTubers, you know? Anyways. I guess if you're spoiled on it, it's just a different... Exp like, there's just no experience in the end. The grand scheme of things. Okay. Let's get this random ghost. Maybe we'll get lucky. A family contacted me. Oh, this is a really good one. To come and investigate their home. They believe their house may be haunted. They mentioned the activity started a few months back. The first incident occurred while the missus was in the kitchen cooking dinner. She was cutting some vegetables when behind her a cup fell to the floor. She figured one of the kids probably left it on the edge of the counter and she inadvertently bumped it. As weeks went by, the activity started picking up. About every night, something is being thrown somewhere in the house. Sometimes, it is just sounds, but other times, there is a mess to be picked up. On one occasion, there was a mess made in the kitchen, and the homeowners went to grab a broom. Upon turning back around, the mess vanished, and everything was put back into place. The noises are terrifying the family, and they want them to stop. They contacted me to get to the bottom of this. It's a poltergeist, 100%. I'm sure 100%. I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Yeah, I might consider playing Observation Dude down the road, but for right now, not really. Because it does look like a fun thing to do. When a new one comes out, maybe. We'll see. I've seen up to three. I know there's a fourth one now, but I haven't looked at, at that at all. Okay, so our goal is to get to the kitchen and investigate. Which means should be right here. We're lucky. That's a three already? Is that really the socket or is that actually the microwave? That's the microwave first. Near the kitchen, so let's just check the kitchen. Oh, yep, it's here, all right. I meant to hit the... Jesus Christ, I'm down. I think, I can't remember, are poltergeists EMF before they start or after they, they done their, th I think it's after. Yeah, I think poltergeists are after the fact. I remember reading somewhere that's a change they did, guys. Before, really? Because I remember they changed Poltergeist from doing it from before to afterwards. Okay, that's... That's not the fridge. Or? That's not the fridge. What is this? Gonna throw something? Or is it after the fact? Like I thought it was. Yeah, I ha this has to be something that was thrown. Because it's not doing anything. Yeah, it's definitely afterwards now. Just like in Phasmo. 
Okay, that's pretty good. That got me. I admit. We done with the EMF? Been a while. Absolutely detected paranormal. Two audience and one regular. Okay, okay. we're gonna get. Uh, we're gonna see the ghost here soon, by the way, because we got so much evidence already. And I don't think Poltergeist talked to you because it's not an intelligent ghost or a demon, so. I don't think it's going to talk to you. I think it's just going to make sounds. Go. Oh. oh, actually, where did it go? Not here anymore. Just. Oh, here it is. Ready. Throw something at me? Well, you shouldn't say that to a ghost, actually. You should not provoke it, but... In a game, it doesn't matter. More of an action-based spirit. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, they changed it from before to after. I think it should be b before and after. Because... When it's trying to summon its energy... It's going to be creating some sort of energy before throwing something. And then after throwing something, it should leave a, a, a residual trace. I think it should be both. Because that makes more sense to me. Because you have to get some sort of kinetic energy, you know, to be able to push something as it goes, I would think. So that would definitely be under the uh, EMF reader at, before and after. That's what I believe in. Okay, three. It might need four for this one for Poltergeist. EMF is done. And temperature is done. So we just need a photo and one more audio, probably. Yeah, weaker before, stronger after. I think that's a really good way to define it. I think it should be like EMF 2 or EMF 3 before it starts. And then EMF 4, EMF 5 when it's done. That's honestly the best way to do it. You know, for a poultry guys, it's not being as active as I... Right, when I say that. That should be it, right? All four? Yeah, more than three. Okay. <sighs> She's... Okay, stop. <laughs> That's not even the right game. And it got me. Okay, now are we going to see the poultry guys is the question at hand. I guess we're going to find out. If not, I can think I can take a picture of something flying. Gonna have to wait and see. Show up. Pressing spacebar the moment I see something move. Yeah, um, well, first, you banned the wrong person. <laughs> oh, shit. Wrong person. Oh, no. does it count? No, it wasn't midair. Yeah, unban, uh, Shano, uh, please. Or is it Sino Bano? I like that name, by the way. Yeah, unban them. Sorry about that. It happens. Yeah, I mean, either way, it doesn't really matter. I could see it being either or. It just really depends on how much force was put into the object before and after. Oh, it counted! I got one! Do I only need one, though, or multiple? Because it's a poltergeist. Mess made. Okay, so it's only on messes on the floor, I see. Oh. Then that's enough. Okay, see ya. Bye. Don't need any more. See you later. Nope. Nope. Not, not looking back. See ya.
Leaving the door open and I'm getting the hell out of here. Also, you can't automatically ban people who get timed out like that. I don't think anyways, because it doesn't allow me to automatically ban them when they get timed out. You have to like type it out usually. Or wait long enough. All right, full gold. We just need the last ghost here, which I think there's only five in the first house. I'm not sure if there's any more than the five in the house or there's more levels. I'm not actually sure. If there's no more levels after the five, then I think we're done for today. A new client just requested I oh. come out and investigate <gasps> their home. They live on Polk Street. I should review the map. Never mind. We have a new map. I thought maybe that was the whole game for, for a bit, but nope. Polk Street. Okay. What is Polk Street? This one? No, that's the farms. What is Polk Street? Here? I'll find it eventually. Don't you worry. Takes a moment. Probably down here then. Find it. I can't even. Okay, it's down here for some reason. Uh, hold on. If you look really close, you might be able to see Polk Street down there, but uh, I just had to take a guess. All right, let's put a new area. Is this X Files, kinda. Except with ghosts. This client contacted me a few days back saying they believe they're having paranormal yes. experiences. Yes, it's faster they now. They mentioned this has been going on a while, but wasn't sure who to contact. They were telling a friend about what they are experiencing, and the friend recommended they call the office, which is great they reached out. Sounds like while they are in the garage, or just outside of it, most of the activity has occurred. The first few times they heard something drop or fall over, they thought nothing of it. Several months have passed by since this commotion first caught their attention. It has now become so frequent they're convinced it's not rationally explained. Most recently, the homeowner had witnessed something being thrown across the garage. They did not see where the object landed because they were on the other side of the car, but it did make a noise when it landed. So they went around the car to check it out and pick up any mess. When they walked around the car, nothing was out of place. They stated this startled them because they knew something should have been on the floor where they heard the crash. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. I don't think it's going to put their minds at ease, but hey, at least you'll tell them they have a ghost. All right, so it's in the garage, apparently. We're outside of it. But, like, right there. Okay. The game runs smoother. Definitely runs faster in general. It's really great. This is a creepy place. Oh, I can just imagine a ghost coming out of the hallway into here. That would be awful. This place is really creepy. Um, I guess the first thing we want to do is probably pull out the... Alright, so garage is definitely on the table. I want to... Ah, here we go. That's... Go in here right away. Not in the garage. Who would have thought? Oh my god, you can actually open this? I love it. I love everything about this. Wait, is this an outside ghost? Because I, if so, I love it. I hope it's an outside ghost. This whole place made the game feel more threatening to you? Um. Hmm. Maybe. Why that? Oh my god! It Okay, you could not have timed that more perfect. You and the ghosts are colluding, I swear. Jesus. How? How did you time that? How did you know? I have no idea how you knew that. <laughs> that worked way too well, holy shit. I didn't even get any evidence off of it because I'm just so amazed that it actually worked. Damn it. Hey, little Mr. Six. Oh my god. Okay, well, now I have to actually like, try to get evidence again. The ghost was racing all along. It, yeah, might have been. Is he outside? Is this ghost outside? Seem to be. I'm gonna take one lap over here just to make sure. Okay, 
Okay, it's probably not over here. Not gonna get me with that one. I'm gonna. <gasps> okay, thanks. You got me with that one, I guess. <laughs> You speak and therefore you, you get shut down. Oh, maybe in here. Run. Warmer out here, so it's warmer outside for some reason. Oh, found it. How is it? Is it the car? I'm trying to figure out where the ghost is going, because, like, this is not easily explained. Did you go outside? Where did the ghost go? In here? I'm so confused. Where did the ghost go? Is this another poltergeist? Probably is. It is throwing so many things already. Right here. I'm so confused. Is it inside the car? Oh, now it's gone. There you go. <laughs> I'm being debated by a ghost. I have no idea where it went. Can it go outside? I have no idea if it has the cap capability of doing that. Alright, we're gonna take out our EMF. I think it's time. I'm sorry, three? Oh, okay. That's because of that. This. I guess we can go out here and see if there's a EMF. Uh, maybe we'd get a ghost that's outside, but I'm not sure yet. This is probably EMF, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks for the clip. You opened the garage door, but you let it out. The ghost is no longer haunted? Yeah! Oh, sorry, the house is no longer haunted? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't know where the ghost went. It's just gone. Need more evidence. You can't be doing that. I think I can get a picture of this still, right? Nope, too. Oh, that was weird. It had like a combination of different EMFs. Alright, fine. Why not? Do you know why I'm here? Why not? Do you know why I'm here? Okay, so if that's not the answer, then... What from me? Maybe having the garage door open is a bad idea. Perhaps? It didn't seem to like it, that's for sure. Okay, it's de- Alright then. It's definitely wandering around. It's either outside or it's inside the house. I have no idea. I'm gonna have to start looking. I have to look everywhere now. looking closet sports gear but it's like kind of like pixelated All right have a good night switching uh brazil gameplay i almost said basil because that's what i read at first but my bad all right, so we're still looking for wherever the ghost. I, the ghost is just gone now. I, just, I let it. I opened up the garage door and it's just gone. No longer exists in this world. 
another closet. Okay. That's a weird ass closet, I'm just gonna say. That just like blocks the entire doorway. I still don't know where the ghost went, but I think it's outside because I can't find it. I'll check the garage one more time. But I'm pretty sure it's outside. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that the ghost can go outside here. Oh! I had something. I'm gonna check over here just to be safe. Yeah, that definitely was- yeah, I think the ghost was outside. This is gonna be a really hard ghost to find. If it can go outside, then I'm kinda screwed. What? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> the first part got me, I'm not gonna lie. I was ready. Bro, where the hell is this ghost? Did it glitch out? Might have glitched out. Is there a basement in this house? I hope not. Yeah, no. I don't think there's a basement. I think we're okay. I think it's an apartment. Well, it looks like an apartment anyways. Uh, where is it? This is not very... That's not very helpful at all. I think I might have glitched it out. I literally have no idea where it is. Close the garage door. You know what? It did do something when it had the garage door open, though. Maybe if I do shut all the doors in, it might come back in. Let me try. Me yeah, eventually dark barking dog card. Yeah, I agree. At some point. All right, let's try it. Lock myself in, dumbass. Hmm. I guess we just wait. So it comes back. Jesus Christ, dude! Literally! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I almost didn't hit that space bar. Where are you? If I can't find any readings on you, I don't know where you are. That wasn't the garage, right? I don't see anything falling over, though. I'll wait again. I mean, if it works out, Mr. Six, I would be willing to add it into an audio card, yeah. There's an audio... Oh, there's a card suggestion area. I think it's only for subs and higher. So if you're a sub or higher on the Discord, which you should be in automatically, you should have the access to that Discord uh, text server if you want to add it in there. Hi. Literally just did something, now it's not doing anything at all. Where was that set? It was in the garage, right? It sounded really close, so it had to be in the garage. Alright, let's just do it. Is this your home? It's fine, no rush. Is this your home? Of course not then. How much evidence do I have? Let's see. Okay, so one more temperature. Two more audio probably. I need EMF still. 
Wait. Oh, that's where the sound happened. It's definitely not this because look, this goes to four. That should be enough evidence, right? Oh, I didn't get it in time, damn it. Maybe I can get there, but I guess not. Look how glitched out it is. It's on one and four right now, and five. <laughs> it's so glitched out. Oh, it's throwing boxes at me. That's what's going on here. Oh, oh, they disappear. Ah, huh. I just learned how the game works now. That's why you can take pictures of those because they only last for a certain amount of time. I see, now I understand. Need one more audio and the EMF is done. I need more cold. What's it throwing shit out there if I don't have the cold spots for it? Here. Is it outside on the other side? Is that a possibility? You might need one more, but I need it. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. Are you right here? You son of a bitch, you're right here. Yeah, you were outside the whole time. Huh. I was wondering why you were throwing shit at me. But there was no cold spots. Yeah, I had to... You're back in here, aren't you, finally? Heard that. Probably wasn't fast enough. I was fast enough, okay. Okay, more than three. Yep. Okay. And now we just need the photo. So same thing. We're gonna throw shit at this, I guess. Damn, I was hoping to catch some boxes outside. Reaching his hand through the wall and smacking boxes at you. I, yeah, that's exactly how I figured it out. That EMF glitch must be new. I've never seen it yet. Hey, okay, so. Not really a bad glitch. It's just an interesting glitch. Come on. Throw some more boxes. You can do it. I believe in you. And then I'm ready for Hold it. on. The 808 Keone cheered with 131 bits. Let us chant the Alabama Beach Mouse Anthem. Boo. I'm a ghost. Boo. I am a ghost. Boo. Fortunately, Keone, her chanting did not work. But if you ask Rice to do it, it might actually do something. But thank you for the 131 bit. Oh my god! Jesus! My god, dude. Jesus. Are we done? And... Yep, that's it. Alright, um... 
you know, it's been cool, Ghost, but I gotta get out of here. See ya. It's funny how the poltergeists don't show themselves. I kind of wish they did, at least at some point. But whatever. <laughs> okay, whenever you say yeah. Alright, this should be a gold. A home, home, although the homeowners are terrified, there is no reason for concern. I'm sorry, what? I, I feel like that is... It's not hostile, I guess, but it's annoying. Hmm. Yeah. Anyways. We'll do one more and I think we'll call it a night. Maybe we'll get a demon. Actually, I think we, we really desperately need a demon to call it a night. Let's see. Let's really hope we get a demon. Because I want to see one. Throwing a box at your head could be hostile. I could see that. I received a call from this client the other day. They stated that all of a sudden, while sitting in their living room, they started to hear a woman cry. They thought momentarily that this was coming from the TV. As they muted the TV, the crying persisted. Being stunned, they tried to decipher where it was coming from. To their astonishment, it appeared to be adjacent to them. I don't think this After is a demon. After this first occurrence, they have heard other voices whispering things illegibly, as well as hearing the crying again. They stated that the noises have been heard in the living room, the bathroom, and in their bedroom. Both parents have stated they have observed, on separate occasions, what they thought was an object moving through their peripheral vision. They probably would have never given it much thought, but with the other activity they've witnessed, they now believe this is an entity. They just haven't been lucky enough to fully view it. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Yeah, put their minds at ease. Hmm. Okay, so I don't think this is a... So either th my guess is this is an intelligent one or... A okay, wait, wait. Woman crying. It could be residual. It could be from the past events. I don't think it's a shadow, but it could be. It's very possible it could be a shadow. It's either... It's it's not a demon. There's no way this is a demon based on the information get given. Unfortunate, but it's going to be an interesting one, I think. Gotta go find it. Are you in here? Ghost hiding in the closet and crying? I hope not. That'd be pretty scary. Temperature went up by 0.1 when I went in this room. Wow. Oh, I guess it's just a natural temperature now. Oh. There is a basement. Fuck me, I guess. Please don't. Oh, I hate this basement so much. Too open. Okay, I've concluded it's not in the basement. Yet. The shadow could think it's a demon? Maybe. But I think the classifications of these ghosts is very specific. Ah, I found you. Where did you go? Need you. Back in here? No? Yeah, back in the corner? No. Where did you go? Oh, fuck! That's a shadow. Shit. That's kind of freaky. Uh, is that enough photo evidence? Yeah, that's it for photos. Okay. Uh, turning lights on is not that really that bad of a deal. It's just you get less evidence this way. Okay. Well, uh, we know the ghost likes to be around the p piano area, so... If this is a quick one, I'll probably do one more just to be... Try to get a demon. Alright. Oh! 
Okay, then. Where did you go? Back in here? In the garage? Oh. Am I scaring myself? I might be scaring myself. I'll start turning on the lights, I guess, then. Actually... I like that. But it actually makes my game a little bit laggy, so I need to turn it off. Yeah, it's just harder to get evidence, I think, because they nerfed it. It used to be just super free, like keeping the lights on, but now you got to keep them off. You want to gather evidence faster and more quickly. Although for viewing, that might be worse, but I mean, if you want me to take longer, we can always do that too, so. Need more EMF anyway. Ah. Wait. Ah, socket, okay. Wait. That's from the TV. Wait, this is... This isn't normal. Maybe it's a stove? This doesn't seem normal to me, but I guess it could be the stove. Weird, it wouldn't be turned on, though. It could be the... No, microwave doesn't have any for some reason. What the hell is giving off those for? I mean, it could be the... Hold on. There's a four there, but it's, it persists this far. Oh, you turn on the hallway lights, I see. Oh, hello. Look at that. Go. Here? No. Okay, the lights are starting to lag me a little bit. So I'm gonna turn off the majority of them. I thought I... Oh, I guess I didn't turn that off yet. There. Now I'm not lagging anymore. I think I, I can only have one light on before it starts to get really bad. There's no smooth lighting in this game. <laughs> Thanks. My ears. Um, There's no smooth lighting in this game. So it's... Okay, you want to be dark, that's fine. There's no smooth lighting in this game, so it's not optimized, and that's why I don't like to put lights on it. Oh, hello, I found you. Is that enough EMF? Let's see. Okay, no more EMF. We need more cold spots, and then we need audio data. Okay. Yeah, I like the fact that you can follow the EMF around, too. I think it's really, I think it's really cool. Oh, there we go. Got my last, uh... What? Please, let me out. <laughs> I would like to be out of that room. Alright, so temperature per... Thanks. Uh, audio data is what we need left. So let's just wait for audio data, I guess. I mean, we have three out of four. It's going to be more active. We just got to wait for it to talk. It's a shadow, so it won't talk on EVP. It will just, like, make noise. Um, hello? Oh. Okay, then. A bit freaky. Is that only one, or is that kind of two? One. Okay. Need two more at least, maybe three. That's gonna be hard to get it from this crying ghost. She doesn't seem to be crying all that much. I mean, she just cried there, but. 
Wait, how the fuck is that? You could just turn on the lamp? That's a thing? I like how the light does turn off eventually when as you go out. Save, you know. Maybe the game is a little more optimized than I gave it credit for, you know? <laughs> Please! <laughs> Don't play this game with me. Okay, we're just gonna wait in here. Likes this room. We'll just wait. Come on. Come on. For a crying ghost, you seem to be very quiet. What was that? Did you say my, uh, my name's Jeff? I'm really- What? No, how is this back on? I walk over here and you turn that shit on? Okay. Oh yeah, it's not a bad idea. Turn on the light for sure. Oh, the problem with that is... I know that ghosts will be more- less active. I do that, but not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. We'll wait and see what happens. I guess we can. Try that. I know it's not gonna work, but is this your home? Give it a shot. Is this your home? Because I think only intelligent and demonic ones can do that. You're still turning on these lights? Maybe you're right about that theory. Perhaps the shadow wants to be seen. But that doesn't make any sense. If it's a crying ghost. Why does it want to be seen? Wouldn't you rather not be seen? Based on experience? I don't know. Really? Why can't we turn on all the lamps in this game? Why only that one? Maybe they do want attention. That could be possible. Those are more rare, though. It's just weird for them to have, like, a shadow that cries. <laughs> and then turns on lights as it goes around. It's like, I guess it does want attention, huh? I guess we just wait. It's gonna be the couch next to me when I look over. Yeah. I'm not happy about that because it's a possibility. This game has a lot of different scripts, so. I could see it being a possibility. It wants to waste energy to destroy that. So it just hates the world. I got you. Where is it? Oh, you're still in there? I think, if they don't already have it in the game, I think there should be a an event that no that you know 100% for sure without with with certainty that if you don't get out of the house in that instant, the ghost will come and kill you. I think there should be an event like that. Just to have some sort of like Like, you're always on edge, you know? You don't know when the ghost might attack you. But I think there should be an event for every different type of ghost. Let you know 
maybe not music or anything like that, but there should be an obvious like screeching, screaming, you know, like just just obviously an angry, frustrated ghost that wants you out of the house. And if they want to go even further, they can make you forcefully quit the mission and not go back in the house and you have to leave because that would make more sense. Because if the ghost is going to kill you, you're done. But that should only happen if the ghost is hostile. If the ghost isn't hostile, it should never attack you. That's what I believe. But if a ghost can be hostile and it's random, I think that'd be really cool. Maybe not random as in RNG kind of random. More like a ghost that they create just with a chance of having the same type of ghost that, that's actually hostile instead. And there, there should also be, and this has been said before in the forums, there should be an, like a scripted event for every single house that is a false ghost, false positive. And you're investigating it, but there's no ghosts here. I think that'd be really cool. Because if you're going to keep the realism aspect, obviously you need the fake, you know, the false positive events. A risk factor would be nice, but only if the ghost is actually d designed to be hostile. If it's a demon, if it's just a hostile ghost in general, it's, it's you know, tormented and trying to kill you. But if it's like a very passive, doesn't want to hurt you, but would like you to leave the house, that, that'd be a different story. I think they should have that. In the end. I mean, obviously it's a brand new game. You can't get everything you want, but... You get the point. If the ghost affect his environment and something locks you in the house and that no, 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 no. It's okay. So Phasmo and Obsidio does this. I think Obsidio still does this. They lock the door on you and the ghost attacks you. I don't think that's very realistic. Maybe once in a blue moon that happens, like to like a demon or something. But in all the instances I've watched and heard about no ghost locks the door behind you unless it's right next to you then it locks it but if it like spawns over there in the bathroom from over here it shouldn't lock the door behind me if it's nearby i could see it being a problem but i don't think it should lock the door i think that you should have a choice to leave the house if you want or risk hiding from it yeah not every spirit will lock the door oh god <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, dude. I'd literally walk around the corner and it's right there. Okay, is that enough? Are we done? Three? I'm. Mm, it doesn't say more than three, so I need one more. Okay, I gotta do it one more time. Yeah, I guess I could see that. More of a demon behavior, but once you dead. I think Poltergeist could lock doors. I could see that. Because they have the uh, the means and the ability to, you know, manifest objects and manipulate objects. I could see them locking a door on you. From, a f from far away, I mean. Because Poltergeist could do that. I could see it. But I do think that when this game evolves, I do think there should be a risk factor of some kind. It could be random and just be completely passive. It's not a big deal. But some ghosts should be hostile, I think, and try to kill you. If it doesn't already exist in the game, because I haven't gotten that far. Number two, I think there should be a false positive event. I think there should be, oh, I hear noises in the house, but it actually is just like rats in the house, and you just investigate, it's like, oh, it's just rats, whatever, and you just leave. And you complete that false positive mission for that house. I could see that. And they can have multiple versions of it too, just to keep it, to keep it exciting. So you're not sure what kind of, it gives you the same dialogue, or similar dialogue to a very, you know, vague description of a potential, like, you hear noises in the house. But it could be a real ghost instead, you know? I think you could design it to a point where it's, you'll never know, unless you go and investigate it, so. A portrait is more of a mischievous spirit, not hostile. There's been a couple of movies I've watched, which obviously movies you should never take legit or, like, real. But there has been a couple of movies I've watched when I was a kid, poltergeist can be very evil. But yeah, and generally speaking, poltergeist is not generally hostile. But if, if there is a hostile poltergeist, I can see it locking the door. Locking all doors, actually, and, and coming to get you and throwing shit at you. 
And if so many objects hit you, I think you should be knocked out or something like that. Maybe not necessarily dead, but I think your mission should be over. Because you literally pass out and wake up the next morning. And you're done for that day. Instead of dying. Could work, you know? All right, just need one more. Come on. Come on. I think any risk factor is great. Maybe one uh, makes one think she wants something known. Yeah, she definitely is uh, very active whenever she wants. She's like a shade in... Right when I speak. She's like a shade in Phasmophobia. Very, very quiet. Easily be a little bit more active to be a normal goat. Because we're literally all, like one evidence away from beating this level. But she just won't show herself multiple times. Enough. Yeah, there's no money loss. You just restart the mission. And the missions tend to be about 15 minutes long. On average. I think a risk factor would play an interesting concept. I think being knocked out... I think the only thing that should kill you in this game should be a demon. I think any other hostile ghost should just knock you out. And when it goes... I mean, obviously there'd be a different visual aspect when you die, but... I do think the demon should be the only thing that kills you. Because nothing else seems to, like, be very powerful. Only demons are. Everything else should just knock you out. Yeah, any kind spirit, any kind spirit can be uh, hostile provoked. That is... I heard that. My count? Good, I heard the writing. Cool, we're, we're out of here. I think we... So... The number one rule is to never provoke a spirit when you're ghost hunting. The number two rule is to consider them as people. You follow those rules, a kind spirit will never turn hostile. Well, a very rare chance it will ever get mad at you. If it asks you to leave, you leave. Are they in a case of possession? Uh, in real life, I might have encountered a couple of episodes that I watched from a very certain show. Uh, not really a show, more like a YouTube kind of thing, but... As for in this game, not sure. I'm surprised Phasmophobia doesn't have possession from the Phantom yet. That's one thing I would have added a long time ago. Possesses the player, you know? That'd be really cool. Alright, one more. It was a little bit short. I want to find a demon. Yeah, I have no idea for possession in this game. I call from this client the other day. They stated that all of a sudden, while sitting this in the living it. room, they started to hear a woman cry. They thought momentarily that this was coming this from is the, the same TV. Ghost. As they muted the TV, the crying persisted. I got a new game. Stunned, what happens? They decipher where it was coming from. To their astonishment, it appeared to I be erased the previous save. I can't do that. If it raises my previous save, then I don't feel comfortable. We received a call from this client. The other. I have to wait. Oh, I could just. Oh, you could space bar through it. Oh shit! I didn't know that. If I would have known that, I would have done that many, 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 many times ago. Maybe I should give it a little effort before wrapping up. A little effort? Nah. Can I spacebar this as well? No? Okay, I have to wait. Only two missions on uh, Polk Street? Ah, oh, damn. I'll try to get the other one real quick. Then we'll call it a day. Oh, like a possession to restart the mission. Yeah, okay, you know what? I could see that. If, like, the ghost possessed the player, and it's, that's like a knockout, basically, in a way. I could see that. That'd be more realistic. And maybe they possibly wake up the next morning and it's already not nighttime anymore, so it's like, you're not going to get enough information. Wait. Wait. Oh, oh, that's what you meant by that. So I have to do this mission again. Okay. I guess I'm going to keep checking until I get the last one here, which I think is a demon. I received a call from a very concerned mother last week. She wanted me to oh, come this is probably and a demon. investigate her home because she feels an entity is tormenting her family. Over the past few months, the two youngest who share a room say they hear scary noises from their closet. These noises are constant and very disruptive to the family sleep schedule. The oldest, who has her own room, hasn't mentioned anything, but is very reclusive. 
Mom mentioned that she has challenges with her oldest child, but chalks it up to her being a teenager. Both adults have heard what sounds like someone whispering illegibly in their ears. Some of the most startling whispers have been heard as they were almost asleep lying in bed. It's as though they are being intentionally deprived of sleep. She also stated that her husband heard what sounded like a beast growling in the basement the other day. It severely startled him, and he has no explanation for the noise. What started off as a rare anomaly has now become a regular occurrence. They are terrified of the noises and that this activity will escalate, resulting in physical harm. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims. And I think this might be a demon based on the information given, but it could be another shadow, possibly, or an intelligent ghost or something. Anyways, yeah, uh, with possession in real life, there are a couple of ways to remove it. I can't remember the... I can't really remember them, but I know there's a couple of ways to remove possession. But if something latches onto you, you cannot leave the house until it stops latching onto you. If it latches onto you, you're in big trouble. In general, anyways. Yeah, the game's awesome. I'm glad they optimized a few things before I started streaming this because it used to be a little bit laggy for my computer just the other day. But now it's optimized to the point where I can play the game and stream it instead of just playing the game and kind of like dealing with the leg, you know? All right, so you know the drill. I think I have to go upstairs, so let's just do that. Wait. Nineteen. Okay. Up here. You said near the closet, right? So it would be this. Are you gonna open? I wonder if that's like a trigger to start the go. That'd be really cool if it was. Oh, there's nothing here. Oh, oh I see that, and it's already it's at the it's at the closet. Is this your home? If this is a demon, it will probably do e EVP. Is this your home? Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? Why are you here? I'm hoping this is a demon so it responds to me. Why are you here? Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? <gasps> You're right. That would be in the basement. Oh, this is an all-rounder ghost, isn't it? It's still here. It was still here. I think this might be an all-rounder ghost. Did I get any... That didn't count as temperature? What? What do you mean that didn't count as temperature? It's gonna be in the basement. The growling has to come from the basement. It just makes sense to me. That's where it would come from. But this is already on. That's a sign of something. I already hate the checking this room already is just awful. It's not down here right now. But I think this is an all rounder ghost. I think it can go anywhere in the house. Because I feel like a demon can actually go around. Assuming this is a demon. Uh, growling from the basement sounds like a, a demon kind of thing. Because I think that's what it specified. Didn't it say growling from below? I could have sworn it said basement. I was reading. I could be wrong. Wasn't there blood? You mean the basement? Talking about this right here? Yeah, I don't... That does seem like blood. Something. I don't know. I'm gonna close this door. In case it opens it down the road. 
that. That. Damn, I didn't get it. I heard something. Oh, right here? Got it. Do you know why I'm here? Yeah, basement. That's what it was. Basement growing. Do you know why I'm here? The poop leak. I love that. <laughs> yeah, bedrooms. Bedrooms. You're right. Well, this is a spot that would... I thought that would be a good spot, but... It's moving around. I have no information yet. I could do EMF, but I feel like I want to go for a cold spot first before I do anything else. If it is a demon... Like I think it is, based on the information given, then EVP should work. Eventually, when it wants to talk to me. Oh, oh maybe you'd be right. All right. I'll start turning on some lights because I know that I'm asking for. It. That way we have some sort of lightage when we look around. I'm not upstairs right now. I don't think so anyway. Not upstairs, it has to be mid floor or basement. It could have gone in the basement. Very possible. Oh. That was something. Here? Not low enough to be in here. Not low it's probably in the basement now. So far, nothing. It's gotta be in the basement now, though. It probably followed me down here. Oh, I heard that. It's upstairs. What's this, this room? It has to be up here somewhere. I heard a, a clank. A door closing. Oh, here it is. It's right here. I heard that. Oh, I thought that was like red right outside for a moment there. I was really concerned. Did I get any evidence? Let me see. Up here. Okay. Okay, so temperature's completely done now somehow. I didn't even hear it right anything, but I guess we're doing EMF next. Hey, Super Boss. I will be on for another probably 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how long this ghost takes. Let's see. This is the final ghost, and I think it's a demon, which is what I was looking for anyways. Oh. Oh. Lock it. What? Chris, I just saw something there. Hey, wait. Oh, I closed it. Never mind. I gotta turn off this light because I need to be able to see the EMF. I'm gonna go upstairs next. It's TV. Lamp. Lock it. This is the room in question. <sighs> Alright, let's just ask you questions here. What's up? Why are you here? It's all good, Super Bus. Why are you here? Oh, that's a good idea. I should leave classes open. Um, Is there anyone here who would like to speak with I'll me? I'll leave all their closets open, I think. Is 
Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? Okay then. Goodbye. <laughs> That's definitely demon speak. That is definitely something a demon would say. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure audio proof is comp like 100%. I don't think I need anything other than that, right? Oh, I need more than one for demon. Hold on. I guess we're doing it again. Here we go. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Do you like the current family living here? I was going to leave, but I need more than one apparently. Do you like the current family living here? Um, How many people are here other than me? We'll go through all the questions, I guess, until, you know, could be backwards. You never know. How many people are here other than me? Why are you here? Why are you here? You're not going to give me more than one, are you? Is this your home? Am I? Is this your home? Can you tell me your name? I might not even be up here anymore. Just why it's not going to re respond to me. Are people... Can you tell me your name? In this one right here? Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? That's true. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? I'll do it Is a few more times and then I'm going to move from the me. spot. Oh god, you're right. It could be the basement. Yeah. Yeah, it's a horror game. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Do you know why I'm here? I'm going to do this one and I'm going to do... This one next. Do you know why I'm here? Why are you here? This is my last one. I'm going to move down to the basement. Why are you here? Okay, we're going to the basement, I guess. We'll, go, we'll make sure it's in the basement first before we do it. Oh, it's still here. What the fuck? Never mind. Is this your home? Is this your home? Do you like the current family living here? I'll do a here? couple more. It should be right here. Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? Are you a thick demon? Yeah, that'll get it going. Do you like the current family living here? I was hoping to get two in a row. I really was. Well, I mean, still here?
I get left when I ask that question. Okay, outstanding sounds like I don't need any more, so I just need EMF. All right. I think what I'll do is I'll pull out the... Wait. Oh, that's computer. I'll pull out the... This, and I'll pull out the EMF afterwards. That way I have, you know, an optimal chance of finding the ghost and then using EMF on it. I think that's for the best, honestly. Okay, I don't think it's actually there. It's no longer there anymore. Dang it. I'm gonna check the upstairs one more time. I feel like it moved. Likes the spot, I know. Oh! A little colder over here, apparently, by the kids' bedroom area. Okay, you're back here. Cold spots. Oh, maybe that's just its lingering place. Maybe it has nothing to do with EMF. Or maybe demons don't give off EMF. I actually don't know. Yeah, you're trying to... Ba you're basically investigating the house, and you gotta determine what kind of ghost it is. Is it hostile, etc, etc. Oh! That's not normal. Oh, wait, yeah, it is. <laughs> Damn it, the freaking power box, dude. Got me. I'm a little afraid when the demon shows itself because it's gonna be really, really scary. I just have a feeling it's gonna be like one of the worst ghost events you can ever want. That mirror is very deceptive. Look at that to the right. Oh. Well, hello. You're with you, me here. Also, you can't even see yourself. You can only see the EMF and your flashlight. I, I think we're vampires in this game. Well, the ghost fell, followed me down here. Now I just gotta get EMF. Oh, got my EMF. It's right here. enough I am convinced okay so we just need a photo here we go and they get spooked uh hello <laughs> um <laughs> what the okay um is that enough are you good Um, do any more than one? That was kind of silly, I agree. Do I need more than one? That's the scarier part. Uh, I mean, it just gave me a freebie photo and doesn't... Hold on, let me see. Let me just double check. Eternal activity, convinced, convinced. Two EVPs, convinced, basically. What of some demonic being? I mean, that should be enough. That, that one photo should be good. I just, I would like to get out of here ASAP. <laughs> it's a weird looking like spectral de demonic being. I think I'm good though. I think we're done for today. <laughs> That's enough. That was actually really cheesy compared to the other stuff. It was a little bit more freaky. I thought it was gonna kill me because it was like, it had its hands out, you know? And I was really unsure if it was gonna kill me or not. The shade was so much better, I agree. Ghost on fire, I just got an achievement for that. Nice. Alright, well, my conclusion with this game so far. Great! Very fun! The demon was actually lackluster, lackluster compared to the rest of the game so far. I was expecting some, like, really, like, growly sounds. Maybe there are in the game, but I didn't hear it. I was expecting to be a little bit more demonic on the audio. 
which it was good enough, I guess. But the interaction for the photo was just like, I wasn't even that freaked out compared to the shade or the crying shadow. Those were more freaky to me than... I think this, the first ghost we had in today's stream was the most freakiest out of all of them. The other ones were just creepy, but the ones that actually scared me was the first ghost I think we had today. The shade out popping out of nowhere just kind of freaked the hell out of me. But uh, as it stands, the demon wasn't all that great. <laughs> it was actually very lackluster. So that's my conclusion with this game. It was really fun. I can't wait to see more updates. I'm glad they optimize and it's a little bit, a little bit less laggy for my computer. And that's pretty much it. I can't wait to see more.